Now let's talk about light boxes. Now light boxes are a fantastic addition for any mosaic artist that is working in glass on glass or on a glass on glass project. There are many benefits to owning a light box, even if it's just for tracing. Now using a light box shows the true color of the glass, just like you're holding it up to the light in the window. Now, as you can see in this video, I'm using uh, the light box to create a few glass on glass samples. Now you can also see when you have squeezed out all the air bubbles underneath the tessera and making sure that the bottom of the tessera is completely covered in adhesive. So you can avoid that dreaded grout bleed. Now when using a light box, there is generally a gentle warmth which radiates from it, which also helps speed up the curing of the adhesive. If you're going by design, the light from the light box allows you to see the design and the colors so much better and easier. Now, when you're looking at choosing a light box, you need to consider a number of things. What size will suit you best? You may not need a large light box if you're working in a very small mosaic area or you're working on a small mosaic. Will the light box be bright enough or will it be too bright? Generally, it's best if the light box is brighter than you need because you may be able to add a dimmer. A light box is an investment, so choosing a good one is important for durability and of course, one that will last you for many years. Is there going to be power nearby or will I need one that operates from a power pack or a USB? Now generally ones that plug into a power point are brighter and have a more consistent light. Find one that suits your budget, but bear in mind if you need to wait a little bit longer to afford a good one, then do so. Buying a second hand one will depend on the quality of the light box and how long it's been used for, and of course the condition that it's in. But they also could have a lot of operating hours on them as well. Commercial light boxes are generally more expensive, but more durable, heavier, well-built and brighter. Have light boxes built to your specifications, but they are going to be of a commercial quality and they are going to be considerably more expensive. Using fluoro tubes is old technology in light boxes, but it's still used to this day. You will find these light boxes bulkier, and deeper to avoid hot spots from the fluoro tubes. LED light boxes are a newer technology, extremely thin in design, and the light is more even. There are different qualities of LEDs, but they have come a long way over the years. It's going to be impossible to know the quality of LEDs being used in a light box that you purchase. However, buying from a reputable retailer is going to be a very good start. Now here's a few different light boxes. This large one on the bottom here is a commercial grade slimline light box. Now although it's classed as a slimline, it is nowhere as slim as these ones here. Now because it's classed as a commercial one, it's going to be a lot more durable, it's going to be a lot more heavier, and it's also going to be a lot more expensive. Now this one back in 2005, I think cost me around about the 800 to 900 Australian dollar mark. Now these ones here are quite slimline, as you can see. Now this one here verges on a commercial quality. You can feel it's got a quality about it and also it feels quite durable. Now this is powered by 240 volt, but it does have an adapter on it as well. Now this one here is what I would consider more of a home light box for tracing. Now this one doesn't feel as good a quality as this one here. This one here is powered by a USB, which means that I need to have my laptop powering this particular, uh, this particular light box. I can also plug it into my desktop computer as well, or I can purchase a USB power pack. However, that adds to the cost, and that could add $100 plus to the cost. Now, most mosaic artists, or I don't know of any mosaic artists, that while they're doing a glass on glass or they're tracing or whatever the case may be, that they're going to actually have their laptop right next door to them or their desktop computer for that matter, especially if they're doing a glass on glass project. So this is going to limit this one down to where you can use it. This does have an added advantage is that it dims down. 
which can be a really good feature. However, when you're doing a glass on glass, you're really looking for a bright light box. Because if it's quite a dull light box, then it's not going to be that beneficial to you to have a look at those air bubbles and to make sure that you've covered the bottom of the tessera with the glue so that you don't get that dreaded grout bleed as I said earlier. So the light boxes are really quite good and they're excellent for a glass on glass project. Now in reference to what I said before about the sides of the light box, I just thought I'd quickly show you this. Now this is a glass on glass piece that I did some years back. And this is the light box that I used to complete this glass on glass piece. Now the advantage of having extra room here is that you can put your uh, glass, stained glass tesser on there and it's really handy because you can see the colour that it is and then quickly use that in your glass on glass piece. The downside is that it does scratch it up and you do get bits of glue over there and stuff like that which this, this does actually have on it. Uh, you know because sometimes that can be a little bit messy. So having a large light box may not be in your best interest when you're doing a glass on glass, but it is something to think about. Now I'm going to show you the other light box that I love to use as well, and that's smaller than this glass on glass piece, and that's an A4 size. Well, here's the other slimline light box. Now this is not USB powered, this is mains powered, which I consider to be better. Now, although it doesn't illuminate the whole area because it is only an A4 size, but you can get it in A3 size, now, although it only does a small area, but I can only work in one area at a time. If I choose to work in several areas, then I use my larger light box. And you can, of course, move your glass on glass around, or you can move the light box around, whichever is going to be easier. So I just thought I'd show you uh, what these two sizes look like when you're using an actual glass on glass uh, piece. So anyway, I hope you've taken something away from this video. I hope it's helped you. If you have any comments, put them down in the bottom of the comment section on the YouTube channel. Perhaps you're using a light box and you have a preference of a light box that works really well for you. Also in the description box of this video, there's two words that says show more, click on those, and they'll take you to some other links of some videos that I made that I think you might be interested in, and also product links that I also think you might be interested in and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.